This video is about the distort tool in Photoshop. We use the distort tool to take the picture of a, a cook, cookbook cover and put it onto a photo, photograph of a book. Here's the, here's the cover as you would have designed it in your, in your class. And here's a photograph of a book that I took, um, but you can also get a photograph from online. Just look up a picture, look, look for a picture of a book. It's, ideally, you'd want it to be high resolution and uh, you can see the cover and you can see the edge too, that's, that's, that's important. Uh, what you do is you take the rectangle tool, rectangle, rectangular marquee tool, and select part of the book that you want, in this case it's the cover, and copy it. So edit, copy, go here, and paste. Now you have both uh, on two layers. There's the layer with the, uh, the new picture that you just pasted uh, and a separate layer which has the, the book on it. If you use the transform tool, uh, free transform, it puts uh, the handles on outside of the box so that you could uh, change its scale if you wanted to. And this does it uniformly uh, if you want to do that. But you can also, if you go here, transform, distort, which makes it so that you can move each corner independently from one another. And if you can do that, you can put it on the corners of the book. Notice it really distorts it a lot until you get to the point where it's on the book, and now it looks like it's on the book. You can zoom in and really put it exactly on there, exactly where you want it to go. And notice this book, the photograph is not perfectly straight. Well, it's possible to, in addition to using distort, there's also uh, warp, where you can you can actually change the shape like this. Notice that, that there's a little bit of a curve right there. I think there's one over here too. You can make it more closely fit. the book. And then when you press return, it, it fixes it there. So, it's, so now we have it's still a layer, and you can turn it on and off. There it is. Um, and, and if you needed to, you could do any number of things to, to add extra bits of illusion. I mean, there's uh, changing the lighting and things like that if, if, if necessary. But for this exercise, let's just um, use the tool to change the shape of the uh, the original image. Let's do it again for the spine of the book. Going to copy. Go back to this one and paste. Transform. Distort. This is going to look weird at first. Notice this book has a lot of little distortions right there. So I would want to use this, use the warp tool as well for this. I could put that there, and make a little, make a little bend right there. You know, this is. Doing this is, is, is just a matter of craftsmanship, getting, getting a thing right. You know, if you had a book that was perfectly straight and square, you know, things would fit perfectly on it. You notice there's a little bit of gap right there, so I'm going to move this a little to close that gap. 
And I get it the way I want it. I can hit, hit return, and it's there. So now it looks as though the book that you designed has been published, and there it is printed.